Alright, what we have is um, a new Pioneer DEH 4200UB head unit. Um, so that's three sets of RCAs on the back for front, rear, and sub. Um, also what we have is Infinity um, Kappas in the doors on both sides and Infinity Kappa 6x9s in the rear deck back there. Um, in the trunk we have um, a Rockford Fosgate 10-inch sub R1L. Uh, from Crutchfield, and we have the Rockford Fosgate Prime 150-2 right there in the front, and then we have um, an Eclipse EA4200 four-channel amplifier um, back there for my Infinity set. Um, this is just my trunk. Um, that's a 150 watt sub right there. I had a Polk Audio um, DB1212, um, and. Um, it smelled like, extremely strange from the factory, um, and then a week later, um, it blew on me. So um, that was a 400 watt powered by um, the Kicker 400.1, um, and yeah, it blew. So I don't have that anymore, and I just decided to go ahead and get the Rockford Fosgate because um, I already had the amp from previous um, amp amplification of my 6 by 9s in the back, but then upgraded that. So this is just um, the 10 inch sub in the back, 150 watts, and the rest of my system. So we'll get it turned up to about 20 or 30. So yeah, that's just a Rockford Fosgate 10 inch um, R1L from Crutchfield and the Rockford Fosgate Prime um, 150-2. Um, you can get the whole setup of the sub if you're looking for um, something that's going to hit like that. And um, I mean for under, I think it's like 250 bucks, that's everything included, the wiring kit, um, the amp and the sub. So yeah, if you're looking for something that's the way to go. So I just wanted to show this to a few people. So. Thanks for watching and goodbye.